So you're wanting to know how to excel in PT school. Well, you don't want to miss this one. In this video, we have a PT student that's going to give you the secret to excellence coming up. Hi guys, Salone here with Expand Excel Physical Therapy and Community Health, helping you expand your education and excel in physical therapy and related professions. On this channel, we interview students and practitioners offering tools, tips, and resources, which can be found in the description area. So check that out, and if you're new here, consider subscribing and spreading the word. But hey, in today's video, I'm with Jasmine Lawrence. And you're from what school? Marymount University. And she's going to give us some great advice on how to excel in PT school. So Jasmine, what does it mean to excel in PT school? Does that mean, you know, getting all A's or being the most outgoing, sucking up to the teacher? I, what, what does it mean to excel in PT school? So first, one of the first things they told us was that, you know, you're past that hump of the, the competition hump. So okay. leave the competition behind. You're a cohort now, you're a family. You're supposed to uplift each other yes. and work together. Okay. Um, okay, good, good, good. And so give me and our viewers the secret to success in PT school, in your opinion. So one of the secrets to success is to be able to learn unlearn and relearn things oh, that's good. even if you come in with no experience or if you come in with like four years okay. of tech experience oh, you do. be oh, you ready to just change your ways of thought yeah. even when it comes down to studying skills um, one of the big things I learned my first semester I did not so great on an exam okay. and um, in undergrad I would self-study so I would just lock myself in a room yes. and study by myself. That was one of the first things I learned. You got a group study sometime. Yes, self-study if you need to, but then eventually go into group studying so you can bounce ideas off of each other and get feedback. Wow. Um, and then sometimes you might learn something in the clinic or you know when you're getting your experience that the teacher wants you to learn a different way to think about it. So be ready to learn differently yes so so be adaptable yes. um and be open to be uh to learn new ways yes. of doing things yes that's and, awesome and it'll translate eventually into when you get into the field okay. i've heard many therapists talk about how even as practicing therapists yeah. they've had to still unlearn relearn and learn new things Un unlearn relearn and learn new things that's it guys that is the secret awesome <laughs> so to sum it up, excelling in PT school, again, is learning how to unlearn and relearn new things. And also understanding that it's not competition. Once, you, once you're in and you're with your fellow classmates, you're no longer in competition mode. It's about being a team. Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes. So last tips or uh, tools or resources that you would say um, someone that's about to enter their program would need to know about in order to succeed or excel. Don't be afraid to reach out. Uh, I actually talked to various emails and talked okay. to different professors even before I started applying just to get a heads up on what prereqs I needed to take over or you know how much experience do I need in this setting so just don't be afraid to reach out to figure out what you need to do to be successful in your application process. So be open to ask questions. Don't yes. be shy, guys. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. And if you have questions and you are shy, just leave it in the comment section and I'll ask them for you, okay? So question of the day. First of all, thank you. Thank yes. you so much. No question of the day, guys. What is your definition for excelling in PT school? and give us your secret to success. Connect with us in the comment section where, hey, some of the best tips and conversations are happening. So engage, become a part of the Expand Excel community. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And remember all show notes, links to tools, tips, and resources shared are in the description area. So check that out and I'll see you in the next video.